This week we've highlighted some groundbreaking research at BC universities. And today we focused on a group of engineering students with an international reputation for mind-boggling fuel efficiency. Here's Chris Galis. Thanks, Tony. It looks like a futuristic space pod, but this car is actually the creation of a group of UBC students. It's so fuel efficient it could go from coast to coast on a single gallon of gasoline. And the students who built it just wrapped up a trip to Japan to compete against some of the top super mileage teams on the planet. This vehicle is called the Mark V. It's the fifth generation, and it's really the culmination of uh, all the experience so, from John past students and, and, and past projects John built up into those. one defining car. In a little corner of the UBC campus, a small team of mechanical engineering students has created something very special, winning the SAE Super Mileage Championship in Michigan four straight years. So th this has been your workspace for... What, four, three, four years, five years? Yeah, it's been our home. Our second home is actually where we normally with, live with our parents, but they don't really see us that often. The Mark V, with its carbon fiber skin and honeycomb aluminum frame, slips through the air with jaw-dropping efficiency. The students modified a donated lawnmower engine to take tiny sips of fuel, getting more than 3,000 miles per gallon. It's easily beaten entries from some of the biggest schools in North America including Penn State, UC Berkeley, and UCLA. This is our fuel bottle. Wow. So it's not very big. Uh, during the competition, our hose at the bottom actually fell off, and we were able to complete all our laps on the track, so that's 24 kilometers on just the fuel in the lines. The car's track record got the attention of the fuel economy world record holder and an invitation to compete against the world's top super mileage teams in Hiroshima, Japan. This is really going to challenge the team in that we're going to be going against totally new teams, uh, totally different way of thinking about fuel efficiency. So we've landed in Narita Airport near Tokyo. After, uh, <laughs> how long was our flight? Nine, Nine hours. hours. Nine hours. On a shoestring budget, the six-member team makes the 20-hour journey on planes, trains, and automobiles to meet up with the car in Hiroshima. You guys must take some measure of satisfaction in knowing what you've accomplished with really relatively little in terms of, in terms of funding, right? Yeah, we, uh, we definitely take a lot of pride in what we do and we always we, we like that in a sense because it kind of makes us feel like the underdogs we try to be uh, wolf and sheepskin as much as we can keep it subtle and we're off to the races the Japanese competition is wide open with few of the rules and restrictions the team is used to the track is much different and after the first run a glaring technical problem our foam has been dissolved slightly. Yeah. Problem? Oh. Yeah, there's a hole. See, it ate a hole in the foam. <laughs> uh, oh. Problem detected after your first run. A uh, fuel leakage in a fuel efficiency competition. Not good at all. <laughs> We're really going there just to learn as much as we can. So we, we hope to get good numbers, but that's not the priority for us. Go, go, okay. go. Very proud of its top 10 finish, placing 7th among 28 teams and improving its efficiency since Michigan. But more important than the results is the lessons they've learned along the way and the confidence they've gained in the process. I think really what it taught me, more than, aside from the fuel efficiency and everything, is uh, perseverance and the teamwork skills that I learned are irreplaceable. A lot of people can you know, go in their own corner and work on their own projects, fair enough, but getting everyone to work together cohesively as a team is a very big part of it, and that's what I see is going to be a big um, attribute when I go into the working force. And very soon the Mark V will take its place in the super mileage team's attic, a boneyard where past champions have been retired and a valuable resource for the next generation of engineering students to learn from. Back to you.